Hello and welcome and thank you for joining me. Today we're going to look into another flow use case and we're going to use custom metadata types. So the requirement here is that we're looking to create a custom form where based on the selection in one screen, we want different options to appear in the next screen. So to speak, it is sort of like a dependent pick list, pick list um, use case. But instead of using pick list and dependent pick list, we're going to try to use custom metadata. Uh, because in this scenario, uh, think of it that the form is really complex and the business needs to be able to change those values quite frequently. So managing a pick list and dependent pick list can become a pain over time. Um, for example, if you're in a food industry, if you have assessments to go through based on one uh, questionnaire, other questions will change, that sort of thing. You definitely want more flexibility in that area. There was also a question in one of my previous videos that I'll be addressing here too. So let's create a custom metadata type and I'm going to walk you through it. So in this case, we're going to pretend that our main pick list is going to be continent. Obviously continents and countries are sort of consistent. Uh, but think of it, these things being more dynamic in nature and being able to change that all the time. So I'm going to do that. And I'm not going to add any fields because all I really need is the label here. I already have a country metadata type. All I really need to do is create another field there. I'm going to go to new and create metadata relationship. So what this allows you to do is kind of build a parent child relationship within custom metadata, just like you will do with a object like a lookup field essentially and i'm going to relate this to continent hit next keep that same and that's it so our custom metadata type has been created we're going to save that now we're going to create some example records so that something appears on the flow i'm going to go to manage records for the continent to create the main pick list values so I'm going to say Asia, Africa, Europe, North America. So let's just stick to four for now. And then we're going to go to the country values over here. Then we can just add USA. We know USA is... North America, so we're going to just put that. So it's like populating a lookup value. Obviously, if you didn't have it, you'd be creating brand new. UK, I'll just put Europe here. Save. And then I'll add one more. Call it Nepal. And let's put Asia. And that's it. So we've got countries. Um, we're going to put one more country here, actually, just to show you some examples. Let's do that. And we've got Asia already. So Asia has two countries here, Europe and North America have one country each. So that's good enough for us to start. So we created the custom metadata type. So to understand continent is our controlling pick list and country is our dependent pick list in this scenario. So based on the continent you choose, you'll see a different list of countries. So now go to flow and So in this scenario, it's really important to understand the metadata. The flow is going to be really simple. So I'm going to create a screen flow. And first screen here, call it the continent screen. Then just drag and drop a pick list option. I'm going to call it continent. And then go to your choice and do a new choice resource and here you will select the generate a set of choices using filter list of records and in this case it's the continent values an object you'll choose continent mtd there we go and we are getting all the continent records that's perfect and choice value i want you to put id here because we need to use this for our next things 
So I'm just going to put that ID here. Choice label. I'm going to make it label. So that basically means what the user is going to see. Label is usually a good idea. And that's it for this one. And we're going to hit done. So one thing to note is ideally I would like to have the continent and the countries in the same screen. Right now I couldn't figure out a way to do that in the same screen. Um, the query just doesn't work. Even if you select a continent, the dependent pick list doesn't change automatically. So you have to use the next screen for that. Or if somebody has another solution, please also let me know in the comments because I'm really curious to find out. And then I'm going to use another pick list for another screen. I'm going to name it country screen. And for this pick list, we're going to call it country. And this is where the magic happens. We're going to do another new choice resource type. Again, record choice set. And we're going to say list of countries object country MTD and so this time you're going to do condition requirements and you're going to say where continent because we created a field called continent on the country metadata if you remember that continent will be equal to the continent screen component so whatever the user selected that would be your choosing value here and it's important to do ID because that's how this underscore C continent is actually storing ID value. And again, we'll put the label here. And in this case, it doesn't really matter what you put for the choice value. I'm just going to go with ID. Hit done. And we should be ready to test. Save the flow. Obviously, your screen flow is going to be much more complex. You have a lot of questions and stuff like that. Going to hit debug. And let's see. So the first option, you should see a few options, Europe, North America, etc. And I'm going to choose Asia because we have more countries there and hit next. And here we should only see two options, Nepal and India. If you go back to previous and if you change it to, let's say, Africa, I didn't put any country there. So you shouldn't see anything. Same thing uh, if we do North America, we can see USA. So as you can see, this is really dynamic in a sense that now if somebody needs to add another continent or more countries to a continent, they can just go to custom metadata and make that change. And you don't have to worry about maintaining a pick list value. There is obviously maintenance needed on the custom metadata side. Um, so it really depends on how complex your use case is. Is it worth creating the metadata or are you just fine with simple uh, dependent pick list as well? So it's really the choice there, uh, but I just wanted to show that option. And of course, let me know if there's any questions or if you have a better way of handling that dynamic um, pick list value that I had to put it on our next screen. Thank you so much for watching.